okay fingerprint based access control system in this project we are using a step down transformer okay 230 input step down transformer 9 volts output ac it is given to the bridge rectifier filter capacitor 7805 regulator and led so this entire section is called power supply section so we are taking 9 volts ac and we are converting into 5 volts pure dc output so here we are using an 889s52 microcontroller it's an 8 bit microcontroller total 40 pin ic four ports each port consists of 8 8 pin total 32 input output bidirectional port 0 port 1 port 2 port 3 port 0 it is connected to the 16 cross 2 lcd display character lcd display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the lcd means this is called as output unit so whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the lcd so monitoring unit so here we have an one reset button this is ninth pin whenever the program will be struck we need to restart this button so this is uh, two machine cycles the program will be restarted and here we are using an 18th and 19th pin is the crystal 11.0592 megahertz crystal this is the heart of the circuit for the controller to generate the clock pulses to the internal CPU to run the program. And port 1, we are connected to the switch button called P1 cap 0, it is connected to the switch button. And P1 cap 7, it is connected to the transistor. Transistor is it is active as a output unit called switch purpose we are using to whenever we are giving the signal to the transistor, transistor here the buzzer will be on. So here we used one transistor that is BC547 transistor, NPN transistor, mainly it is for a high current purpose we are using. So microcontroller having there is no current, only voltage. So we are enabling the input to the transistor and transistor will give you the sufficient current and the buzzer will be on. The, here we are using a piezo electric buzzer, it is a 5 volts operated buzzer, it is using as an alarm purpose we are using. Indicators, alarm is sir. So port to it is connected to the L293D driver AC, quadrupole HBG driver AC for DC motor driving purpose we are using. So here we are using one door, here we have a small DC motor is present in our project. Okay, so here, okay na? So actually this entire section is called CD player. You, you know CD player, so that CD player is door open, door closed, forward, backward. So the main concept we are using for the L293D, L293D, whenever we are giving the signal to the L293D, one time, one time the motor having two pins, 0 and 1, the door will be open. Once the, uh, we are giving 0 and 1, it should be back. Means CD player means when we are giving the exit button, the door will be open. So when we are giving the signal exit button, the door will be closed. Oh, okay, it's mainly acting as a door purpose. Okay, port to 2 cap 0, 2 cap 1, 2 cap 2, 2 cap 3, 4 pins. Here we are using port to 3, port 0, LCD, port to 1 cap 0, 1 cap 7, 1 cap 0, 1 cap 7, buzzer switch, port 2 cap 0, 2 cap 1, 2 cap 2, 2 cap 3, motor, port to P3 cap 0, 3 cap 1, it is connected to the max 232 IC, level converter, voltage level stabilization purpose we are using this IC means microcontroller will send the data to the fingerprint and the fingerprint will send the data to the microcontroller with differential voltage levels so that's why we are using max 232 max 232 will send the data and receive the data okay transmitter and receive purpose we are using so here when you are port 3.0 and 3.1 it is connected to the 9th pin and 10th pin and after that it is the 7th pin and 8th pin it is connected to the RS232 cable red is the trans red is the receiver brown is the ground black is the transmitter here 3 pins are there and the data will be connected to the same max 232 IC so here we are using an R305 fingerprint module that fingerprint module it consists of 99 finger working under 9600 bits per second so this finger will take the corona of the uh, finger okay that will be stored in the database here we are using one dsp switch means the company they are using the dsp pitch chip here they will store in the form of images so once the image will be captured with the same image it will tell you as the 
authorized person if the image is not um, uh, same so captured image and checking the image will not change it will tell you as the unauthorized so it can store up to 99 finger you can store the data of 99 fingers into the database so if it will check for the 0 to 99 if it is matches it is called as a authorized person if it is not authorized unauthorized means it will tell you as a unauthorized person so so here also one match 232 so in this they are having no uh, uh, logic is there so that's why we are using the external match 232 ic to communicate with own so e kit ki e match 232 e kit ki e match 232 individual one so comes with individual so when we are sending when we are capturing the data press the switch okay so it will check for the scan finger if it is scanned with the same database it is okay if it is not matches with the same finger it will tell you as a wrong finger and the budget, and the budget should be valid Button. Okay. Press the finger. Remove that. If it is authorized, it will tell you. Okay. The door will be open. Okay, unlock successfully. So next, okay, remove that. Read finger. Successful. Okay, no? successfully. Door will be closed. So this is a fingerprint based access control system. Thanking you. Bye. Thanks. Sir,